I'll just uh, start with the today's session, which is automated AI approvals. And this is basically this idea came to us while we were developing a power platform hackathon, a solution for power platform AI hack. And uh, what uh, what is this use case? How did we build it? I'll just talk to you through a few of these slides, and rest everything will be demo. Before that, uh, I'll give a short introduction about myself. I am Shrifti, and I've been working as technical consultant at Rapid Circle. I'm also a Microsoft MVP, and I have almost close to seven years of work experience working on SharePoint, Teams, Power Platform, and some bits and pieces in Azure. So, keeping it very short, I would just straight away uh, drill down to the agenda. Let me just quickly go to the problem statement. So, maybe uh, I have just taken one scenario, which is risk assessment or risk management. Um, you can fit this as per your need, and you can just take this approval, automated AI approval, and maybe it can be any scenario where you see this is the best fit. Please go ahead and try to use this uh, in your scenarios. For me, what I did is the scenario is something like this. Let's say uh, there is a risk assessment team and they always deal with multiple documents like uh, probably assume an Excel file where uh, there are some risk related to health, safety, health, safety, environment or technology or anything. I would just name HSSC one simple example so everyone can understand. In that risk document, maybe there are some, you know, rows where you identify that this particular item is at high risk or low risk or what is the risk, right? And the other document attached or maybe which will elaborate on what that document or risk is about. So that is the business case for each risk. Now, whenever that risk assessment manager receives that in, in an email, he or she has to do a lot of work in going through each and every person who has added that input. They have to catch up with them and then they have to also go through the document business case to learn more about what is that risk related to. And that business case can span more up to five to 10 pages, right? And you just want to probably overlook it and glance and get a summary, right? If, if you get a summary, it would be so great. You can just get some important bullet points. With that, you can you have that risk chart and you can just easily see, hey, yeah, this is high risk. This needs to go to some approval. If this is below some threshold, then it can be auto approved. So this is my use case. Uh, as the problem say, uh, statement is already mentioned, that there is, you know, a small gap area where you can see AI can play a good role when it helps you to do your to make your job easier, like bit easier. Wherein if you just define a threshold, if something falls below a threshold, then maybe AI can approve it. And if if something is above threshold, then let it come, it come to you for approval and maybe you can perform the uh, upcoming tasks. So that was the problem statement and how did we resolve it, right? So that's just see the use case. I will go to the process flow diagram. Okay, so this is probably what I want to highlight today and maybe I'll go to the demonstration right after this. So what I am doing is I am just looking into my mailbox and in my mailbox, but I'm assume I am the risk assessment manager. I receive email from so and so person about identifying all the risk related documents. One is business case, one is the Excel document, which has the risks mentioned. Now I what here you can see is this is the email of risk manager. He receives he or she receives two emails. And what my process flow will do is it will go to that email, it will scan, run through each document. One is the risk assessment. It will see whether, hey, if, if this contains high risk, if it contains high risk, then go to the approval stage. And how it will do that? We are already, I'm using one AI builder document processing as well, through which I'm getting, grabbing the entities, whether it is high risk is mentioned in the document or not. Clubbing those two, I am just passing it on. I'm, uh, and what next I'm doing is I'm also looking through my other document, which is the business case, wherein I'm going to, you can either use the custom connector or right now we have the ready to use summarize uh, prompt in the AI hub, right it's inside Power Platform. So you can use that directly and just pass it on your content from the file to let it summarize. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is you have to take that document and convert it into text, right? Only then you can pass it to your prompt to summarize it. How you can do that? You can use AI Builder again. That, that comes to the picture and you can just uh, identify text or from the documents. We have that in place in AI Builder. Using that, I am 
following up with the custom connector i, I think yeah this is the piece i've created custom connector but you can use summarize right uh, as well and once you are done i'm clubbing those two inputs in one variable and then i'm seeing hey this has high high risk right then i'm passing it to the manager for approval and if he or she approves then the email who had who had sent that email will receive that hey this is the summary and these are the attached documents with the so and so approval whether it is approved rejected or whatsoever if it falls below threshold then it will straight away be approved and the email will be sent out to that person who has sent the email so this is what the overall process flow is and let's just go ahead and check in action so i'll go to the flow and before i start elaborating on flow i will just go to the ai hub where i want to show that you can it's not needed that you create create a custom connector to summarize i used api to do that uh, gpt api but now you can go to the ai prompts and you see summarize text you can directly consume this into your automation as well next i have also created document processing model so that for me i will show the documents which two documents i'm using this is the one document where risk, this is the risk assessment template you can see i have added all the risks i've just zoomed in a bit so you can see it and these are the probability and severity you you don't have to worry about what data or text you have written maybe assume this as a risk analysis and you measure it in a low high or mediocre scale and i've given the scales below for me there are two main important things one is probability and the severity of that risk assessment and whenever something is catastrophic and almost certain for me i am marking it as high risk or this is the threshold for me next is the business case this is just a small sample uh, template which i have picked up from the internet and you can have your business case as per the assessment which you have made for that particular risk management and these two documents i'm going to send out to the person risk manager and later let's see what flows us right before that let's go ahead and evaluate the flow this is the power automate flow which i have built and i am just running it on an outlook because definitely that is where the emails come to the to that risk manager i have just given that who sh who will receive it and definitely you should add a subject uh, filter so that you don't get all the emails and it don't start performing the, this evaluation for all the emails so give any appropriate filter based on which it will pick it up next are some of the variables the important stuff lies here now once i have got the email next section is i have to read those email attachments so i'm getting the attachment there there are two files so hence you can see this branching one is i should get one called as risk template right so one file will always have name as risk and the condition is managed here next is if there is some business case or name of the file starts with business or it has word business okay so it will process it that way now if that file is named as risk template or risk man, uh, assessment then go into that file and extract the information from a document for this i have created the document processing custom model and i am grabbing the information of those probability and severity so if you can see the extract information part and i'm passing the content of the file once i'm done with that i am just parsing the json grabbing the probability bits and i'm storing it in a variable which is an array so that i have i i'll get an array where if you can go to the document again for each row it will give me the probability and severity hence i need an array and it will just add one item to that array after that i will be evaluating that array and seeing it whether that contains a text okay that is why i'm storing it in it in array one is for probability other is for severity if you are just working on the use case where you are maintaining confidentiality like high high uh, medium low you can just store it in one array variable apart from that i'm also storing the content of the attachment so that i can also attach it in my approval coming to the other branch going here here i am doing what i'm doing is i'm using the already available uh, ai builder model which is recognize text from an from the file which is pdf what it does is it will take your file content and then now you have to read through page in the page you will read to the paragraph and in the paragraph you will have to read to the line right this is what this is how you convert your uh, pdf to text so this is what i'm doing going through the page through paragraph through the lines and then i am storing that whole thing in a variable 
once i am done with that i've created the custom connector and passing that whole text in the body and this uh, is the summarized custom connector which i'm using here once this is done i'm taking that information grabbing the first response which i'm getting from that api and storing that in the variable also i am storing the information this is just the status code check whether i really got the response if not then it will just straight away break okay after that also i am attaching the files again what next i am doing is i am passing the another step let me just close this down yeah now we are going to go to the okay i think i lost somewhere yeah here now once we have that information are all set in the variables now we are going to check few things whether my risk is really high risk so i am checking the probability and severity as i mentioned if it contains the word catastrophic or probability contains almost certain then i need approval this is the approval stage when i'm passing it to someone who will approve this and also passing uh, i i have removed it just before our call but you can also pass the variable it was just throwing some error because it was empty so i didn't want to interrupt just uh, pass that attachment and uh, you are done next once the approval is completed you have to send out an email as well and that is the email stuff which i'm doing with the response of approve or whatever is the response and the email also contains the ai summary plus your uh, attachments etc next is the direct automated ai approval where it is falling below the threshold so you don't need the approval from so and so person and it is automatically approved let's just go ahead and see this in action what i'm going to do is i'm going to send out an email let me just send out one email okay new email and i'm going to type in risk analysis approval send out to the person and attaching the documents from my computer this to hit send going to the flow and let's just wait for it to run in the meantime this runs i can just show you the predefined i think we are already okay we have some time let's just wait for a second yes let's just go to the run yep. so it was able to fetch the documents and it is in the attachment section and it is evaluating each attachment and we'll wait for a few seconds let's see whether we received the response in the meantime i can just go back and show you the existing screenshot till the time it runs so what it will do is it will send me the something like this in my teams here in the approval stage okay this is the approval this is how it will look like and this is the automated ai generated summarized thing and you also see the disclaimer that this is ai generated summary so your manager who is approving knows that hey this is ai generated and uh, the attachments i have removed it as of now so this is the run i approved it already hence once it was approved i just received it an email in my mailbox saying this is approved because it was high risk and we all also note down that it is high risk and this is the summary with the two attachments so this is the overall flow but let's see whether this has worked till now it is taking some time to process okay it's done now it should go, come down for approval let's just go and evaluate in the document processing model you see that my model was able to i'll go to this section array variable in the probability i have to run through all the rows and it will just save the value here for probability similarly you can see it for severity as well it's done and if i go to the ai generated section it should generate the response so let's just go to the past json set variable oops my bad i did not go to the next run 
Okay. Yes, I received the notification, but I'll still continue to show the output. So here you are seeing the content and the outputs. In the outputs, I have the short summary. I will just grab this, copy it in my notepad for you all to see how shortened it is. See, this is just one small paragraph elaborating on what the document had and storing that in the variable and it has passed on to the approval stage. So let's go ahead and evaluate whether I have received it or not. I think I did need your approval is in already and it should be sent to the risk assessment manager it is let me just go to the teams and do that yeah it's latest one i approve and this is normal summary hit approve and it should send out an email going back and the email should arrive pretty soon yes it does. So this is the approval for high risk investment. And it, just like I mentioned, it just showcased everything which we needed. So maybe I would recommend you all to just fit this scenario into uh, the documents where you are working for confidentiality. Sorry, let me go back to the meeting. Yeah. Yes. So you can fit this bit into any of the scenario. It is not, not necessarily that related to risk assessment, but anywhere you see that, hey, this uh, thing can be resolved where your managers or wh whomsoever is approving, they can take this small area and you can let AI auto-approve if it is uh, below some threshold or below any valuation, like either it is low, medium or high or any, any kind of thing. Just pick this up and uh, you can use it anywhere. If not this whole use case, maybe either uh, use your uh, document processing or any of the AI Builder pieces which I did. You, you can use it. Feel free to use it. Also, these are the same screenshots which I've added. If it is auto-approved, then you will you don't uh, receive that approval at all. It will just send out an email directly. Because I, I don't have that much time, so I would just close out uh, to give you the short summary that what we did is we used I created the custom connector using the open AI GPT endpoint and I leveraged two AI builder models. One is document processing, which which was the custom one, and the other was uh, reading your text from the PDF or files. I used that and then using all those bits and pieces, I created the workflow, which just auto approves, right? And this was the short summary. You can just pick this also in the repository. It is already available. Uh, you can just go to the github.com. I, I think later on, once this is published, you can go and find the information as well, the resources. And th that is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I I'm still, uh, I can answer them. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying till the end. Mm -hmm.